Hello everybody, my name is Michael, and in today's video, what we're going to be doing is this right here. So if that looks interesting to you guys, please carry on and watch the video. And also, one more thing before we get into the video, if you enjoy what I do here, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out and lets me know you enjoy the video. But with all that out of the way, let's get into that video. Okay, so the first colour we want to use on our Nothic here is Bath Salt Grey. This here is a dark blackish grey. looks a little bit greyer on camera here because I've got a lot of lights on it so you can get the best view possible. But it is sort of a blackish grey and it's going to be great for our base colour here. And what we want to do is we want to apply this all over the skin. So just avoiding areas like the eye and the spines that he has on his back. We want to avoid those too but we don't necessarily need to worry about it if you want to go nice quick and easy. You can just give the whole lot a good overall coverage because this is our base colour so we're not worried too much about it. Also too since we're painting up a null Zars Marvelous Miniature, they already come pre-primed, so you don't even have to worry about priming it like I am here, this is just the way it came, all I did was just add a little bit of texture to the base that it had on it and glued it on, because I wanted to just cover that base a little bit more, and all that is, is just a little bit of sand uh, just sprinkled on there, and then I had some primer, so I primed that bit up, but the rest of it was already pre-primed, so we didn't even need to worry about that, and of course it's just a matter of going around, giving a nice smooth layer to everything, thinning down your paint using two coats as I did here. Now that we have that base layer down, I'm going to come in with the spines now. And this here I'm going to be using charred brown. This here is a very dark brown. You could use uh, any sort of brown you want to go here for, or sort of a creamy colour. I'm going to make these sort of uh, bone-like in a way. I want them to look like real spines on his back. I know in the official artwork of a Nothic, they're sort of like protruding out, but there's no sort of... Uh, skin penetrating through them so the spines are sort of like covered in a thin layer of skin i wanted to do a little bit different than that because otherwise you'd be painting all of this uh these spines along his back gray as well to match him with the skin tone if i was to follow the uh, official artwork and i think that's a little bit boring of a paint job if i was to just completely make it all one color so i wanted to go in a little bit of a different direction here and that's why i want to make these things like their spines that have popped out of his back there and really sort of like penetrated through a skin and turn into like quills on like a porcupine or something like that so that's why I'm going in here with the brown going with a different color because I want to make it look visually interesting on the tabletop then of course continuing on with my theme of them coming out like the little bones protruding or quills or something like that I've just gone with a skeleton bone color here or any sort of bone color khaki would also do here uh, and I'm just going around and picking out all the tips on these spines and just going around very carefully not worrying about uh, too much uh, in terms of like distance or anything like that. I'm sort of making them random length of how far I'm going to do. Some I'm doing, you know, a lot further down the spine. Some a little dot on the tip. Just, just to give them some variety over the entirety of the piece. So we've got a little bit of interest on there as well. Uh, giving them, you know, just some sort of like um, personality. But just something interesting to look at on that table. Then once we have that down, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in with a wash. And I'm going to use a sepia wash for that because, I, like I said, I'm going to make these sort of bony protrusions and these spines. So I think a sepia wash is going to be great for that. You could also go with a brown wash here as well, make them uh, look that more like earthy tone. But I want to give them that sort of bony, interesting looking textured appearance. As well as that too, I'm also using a little bit of wash and just trying to apply a little bit of wash to each spine. I'm not going with a big blob overall i'm just making sure there's sort of just enough on my brush and then just thinly coating them and as you can see i'm holding my piece upside down so i can really get to the base to the top rather than have it from the top and then it dribble all the way down to the base and then it'll start sort of hitting the skin and i don't want any of that so that's why i'm holding it upside down giving each one a thin little coat of the wash so then once we have that wash all completely dry, what I'm going to do now is I'm coming with another grey. This here is dark sea grey, it's a lot lighter grey than our bath salt grey we used before. And this is going to be for our highlighting step, and this is going to, of course, pick out all of those nicely sculpted muscle details and any sort of high points and bridges. Now, I'm being a little bit more um, involved with these highlights. Uh, because usually you would focus on where the light is going to hit for me I'm going for any raised surface so anything that isn't a recess is what I'm going to be painting here because I wanted to have a little bit of difference in color uh, for the separation because I'm not really trying to make this like a highlight at the moment I'm trying to make it a different tone of the skin so it's sort of like where the skin is sort of stretched out a little bit more got a bit of a 
different color to it just trying to add that little bit more visual interest over the piece rather than following on just a straight highlight so a highlight step will come a little bit later on we will focus a little bit more on highlighting the raised surfaces more than everything else but for now I'm picking sort of the real heights of any sort of sculpted in detail and I want to really pick those out with this color Okay, now this is the point here where my entire plan for this miniature has completely changed. Now, the whole intention behind uh, this was I was going to apply this wash on uh, thinly and it was going to just subtly change the colour to a purplish tone. I just wanted to sort of have that purple more in the recess and as soon as I put that first blob down I immediately went, oh no, this is way deeper, darker and richer than I thought and I didn't uh, thin it down, I took it straight from the pot and this uh, Drucci Violet here is a lot more powerful a wash than I was expecting and I sort of forgot about that and it completely turned the entire Nothic purple. But that's okay, I was actually quite happy with this, this is quite interesting, I was like oh this is actually not bad, it gives it a different colour because what I was trying to do here was sort of follow along with the sort of generic art you see in the Monster Manual, it has sort of this greyish uh, grayish tone a sort of um, a little bit purple in the recesses which is what I was trying to accomplish that but my wash was way too strong and thick and I should have probably thinned it down but that's okay it's just turned into a happy accident and we got ourselves a purple nothic here so if you wanted to you could if want to follow exactly along what I want to do here you could start off with a purple if you didn't have a purple wash and you would get the same sort of effect if you just went up and highlights with the purple or if you wanted the gray you just don't want to apply this wash maybe a black wash there to keep it in the gray or you could really thin your uh, wash a lot more down so you get that more subtle effect which i was originally trying to go for but what we're going to do is we're going to pivot now and turn this into a purple nothic which i think probably looks a little bit better on camera it's a little bit more vibrant and more of an interesting color so now we've turned our gray nothic purple what we're going to do is come in with a purple highlight because i want to come in and just boost those highlights uh, a bit more like I was saying uh, before what I was going to do with our greys and I was going to come in just with of course a lighter grey to a sort of an off white colour but now this time I'm gonna just going to come in with a nice light purple because we've turned this whole thing purple I actually quite like the colour and it looks really um, cool and interesting for a Nothic it gives it that more interesting appearance look a little bit more vibrant on the tabletop as well being that purple so I thought we we're gonna run with it I'm gonna come in here with our purple which is here is sort of like a pinky purple and I'm just going over now where we placed a lot of those highlights uh, before I was picking up the raised areas of the muscles except for this time I'm more concentrating on the highlighted areas uh, rather than picking up every single muscle now because this is our highlight so really making a sick out the only exception is as I painted uh, on top of the uh, pecs and the little abs there I just want to make them stick out just that little bit more I know they're sort of in shadow but I want to go for that uh, bringing out the sculpt that little bit more and just highlighting those parts up as well then once we have that highlighting step complete what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in with a stonewall gray this here is a uh, creamish gray and this here I'm going to be using for the claws I was originally going to do these black but I thought I we've gone with the theme of changing the color of everything I thought uh, let's not do the generic sort of black claws anymore let's do something a little bit more interesting than that so I've gone with this uh, grayish tan uh, creamy color with the claws just to give it something a little bit more interesting and stick out with and make it just pop that little bit more on the table so you you're sort of like why does the claws have such a highlighted effect on it just giving that visual interest so. then once we have those claws painted up what i'm going to do now is i'm going to come in with an ivory and this is going to be used on just two little spots we're going to use this for the teeth and we're going to use this for the eye now i did say that the uh, muscles in this Nothic were sculpted really well and nice unfortunately for this uh, sculpt the teeth are not very well sculpted and it's sort of just this weird blobby mess on here unfortunately but that's okay we still want to pick them out either way you know we still want to show that visualization that there is something there and something uh, that represents a mouth now these 
uh, the pack of Nothics here that you come in with this Nold Glass Marvelous Miniature Pack has two Nothics, and the Nothic that is in the other one that I'm, I'm not painting up on camera right now uh, actually does have the teeth sculpted in a lot better. It, it's just between these two models, this one has sort of the worst sculpted teeth. Then once we have those teeth and the eye picked out, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in with Agrax Earthshade. This here, of course, is a brown wash. So any sort of brown wash is going to do for this. And I'm going to use this to uh, give a nice overall wash to the claws and the teeth here. So just something nice and simple. Now, uh, you could, of course, go in with the sepia wash here as well, like we did on the back spines and save that spot for now. But like at this point, this is where I was so thrown off of my painting uh, from <laughs> turning completely purple and that I didn't really think about too much uh, turning it into uh, sort of the bony color like the spine then once we have that completed what we're gonna do now is we're gonna paint the hardest part of the model and that of course is the eye and making it look acceptable and <laughs> a very interesting uh, piece because you know it's a big focal point on the miniature here and what I'm gonna do is I want to give it a green eye to really work off that purple of the skin tone here so no real sort of technique here as you can see I'm just struggling and trying to get my best and trying to line that up nicely here so with that nice dark green we want to use that as our base color then once we have that basis for the iris down I'm gonna come in with some moot green here and that is that I'm gonna be painting even and smaller in the middle of that again to give it a two-tone color in that iris to make it look really interesting when you're looking at it close up on the table now for the next step we want to put in the pupil i am going to do this off camera because i was struggling enough to try and paint these parts of the eyes and they're going to be bigger than the little dot that i'm going to put on the eye as well as that too i'm also going to have to try to line it up so it looks like it's looking slightly at you and not looking crazily off in the distance somewhere so rather than try and watch me struggle too much on that on camera i'm going to do that off camera and you can see that uh, how the reveal came out in the glamour shots as well as that too i'm also going to put a little gloss varnish there to make it that nice shiny color so let's go to those glamour shots and with all that completed we have finally finished painting up our nothic miniature from the dungeons and dragons miniature range by whiz kids so i hope this video has been helpful for you guys whether you want to follow along with what i did here we just want to use this video as some inspiration and in painting up your own miniatures i also throw in the other miniature that i painted in here as well so you can see the two different colors with our nothics so i hope that was a nice little fun uh, surprise for you in there as well but i'd like to say thank you all for watching and i can't wait to see you all in the next video